Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with a sneak peek unboxing of one of Diamond Art Club's new releases this weekend. And this is one that I have to tell you I am really excited for in particular. This is the absolutely stunning Artemis by Roy Trin, also known as Roy the Art on Instagram. and. I'm obsessed. Okay, I remember when this was in voting quite a while back, and I am obsessed with all things Greek and Roman mythology, mythology in general, Norse mythology, all things. So um, Artemis, goddess of the hunt, yes, please. So this gorgeous kit uh, is gonna have square-shaped diamonds. Here's the size, it's gonna be pretty big, 65 by, 60, 65 by 97 centimeters, or 25.6 by 38.2 inches. And let's get into this. So uh, there's some blue branding on here that is what Diamond Art Club uses with their kits that come with square diamonds. Some info on the back about how to diamond paint your kit contents and then on the side is a qr code that you can scan for a 10 percent off coupon now if you're brand new to diamond art club you're also welcome to use a 20 percent off discount 20 percent off discount code that i have available it's just my name katie k-a-t-i-e and the number 20 and uh, no obligation of course there will be other discount codes you will see in this video I just encourage you to take take advantage and use one of them. Now, this kit along with the other new releases this weekend are coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, August 12th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's it for the general release. And if you happen to be in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window. Uh, sometimes you'll get that email as early as 45 minutes before uh, the general release time. So just be checking your emails uh, and feel free to take advantage. So Diamond Art Club includes a toolkit that has lots of helpful, just kind of standard tools in it. Certainly everything you need to do your diamond painting. I've worked with one of these before. You don't have to get fancy tools to diamond paint and diamond paint well. <laughs> so you're gonna get a pen and squishy. The color on those is going to vary. You're gonna get some wax and a little caddy like this. Remember to take off. There's a thin plastic film on here. You wanna make sure you peel off. You can kind of see it there uh, before you try to load up your pen. And then we've got a couple of these um, thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then we've got a tray with, this is actually a tray stopper to help keep your diamonds from sliding out. And then we've got a bag of baggies if you want to uh, kit up into these or store your leftover diamonds in. You'll get a pair of tweezers, branded, that are quite sharp, so make sure that you do keep that cover on when you're not using them so you don't poke yourself. And then we've got a cover minder and washi tape. You can use a cover minder to hold back the plastic cover on your canvas that you're working on. And uh, washi tape I use around the border of the drill field to cover up any glue that goes past there. Uh, and also I use it to section off my canvas. Check out a video that I've got linked below if you wanna see a demo on how I do that. So that's everything in your toolkit. And then Diamond Art Club includes a smaller sticker. I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has all of the information about the artwork and the original artwork in thumbnail form here. Uh, it's just, it's handy that way. Some people use it on the side of the box that the kit comes in to help sort through their stash, or you can find something else crafty to do with it. Can you tell I'm really excited? I want you to look at this canvas so badly. Also knowing that this is, a really, really, really large project. So I will tell you in advance, we're not gonna be able to fit the entire thing in frame, but I will take a moment and uh, put a picture of the whole thing in frame in just a bit. Look at her face. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous her face and her hair are. I'm in love. I am in love. Oh my gosh. Which I suppose you could say is ironic given that <laughs> it's hard to miss after all. Okay, uh, incredible. Look at the level of detail that's coming through on this canvas. Okay, now's a good time. Um, I'm gonna put up a picture on the screen for you here if you'd like to see the entire canvas in frame since it is quite large. It is that like 70, or sorry, 65 by 97 centimeters. I can't quite fit, for her, fit her all in frame, but there she is. So let me show you what all was included <clears throat> rolled up in here. So we have this big bag of diamonds, which dang, look at those gorgeous neutrals. We'll look at those in just a bit. Also included is this pamphlet. There's a thank you note from the founder on the front. 
info about what's included in your kit, a beginner video, which I have one as well, I'll link below. Uh, the VIP Facebook group, a handy resource once you've made your first purchase. Step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, tips and tricks, yet another discount code, and info about the mobile app. So. Also included is a larger sticker sheet. There's the title here, Artemis by Roy Trin. A spot to write your start and end date, and there is a gorgeous look at that stunning original artwork. Roy Trin's artwork is really, really distinctive, and I love it. I've completed one kit so far uh, by, by this artist. I'll have the post review linked below if you're curious. His artwork translates beautifully to diamond painting form and diamond art clip does a fantastic job rendering it so i'm stoked about this one <laughs> square shaped diamonds in this one there's the size and the skew and then over here we have a set of cut out sticker or pre-cut sticker labels for you the color code system this comes from the dmc color code system which is the same as the dmc brand of floss is where it comes from it looks like we're gonna have a total of 54 colors in this kit now at the end of these codes you'll sometimes see a code that has a letter at the beginning. This is Diamond Art Clips numbering system anyway. Like this one has a Z and that usually indicates that there's going to be some sort of special diamond in this kit. Uh, often it's either a fairy dust diamond or an iridescent crystal type diamond or um, an electro metallic type diamond. I'm guessing fairy dust. <laughs> so also anything under the number 150 is going to be a different kind of special diamond called an AB. Uh, I'll tell you all about those and whatever this one is once we're actually looking at the diamonds in just a little bit. But first, I cannot get over this beauty. I, I'm like, do I need another whip in, in, in my uh, arsenal at the moment? Because I might. I, I just might. Here at the top, we got their branding. Do what makes you sparkle. Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You won't have any trouble with fraying. The backing on Diamond Art Club's canvases is quite soft. It's a really nice blend of fabric. Uh, and it, it holds the diamonds well. It's both kind of sturdy and malleable. It's just really pleasant to work on, especially with this nice thick poured glue that they use. That's It's really sticky. It actually has a little bit of a sparkle to it if you look at it. Uh, and then we have a legend schematic up here at the top left. Same one over here, all the way down here at the bottom right. A canvas this large, I'm gonna recommend that you use those labels I just showed you. Put them on however you've kitted up your diamonds and refer to those instead of having to look at the canvas a legend every single time. At the bottom left of the canvas, you'll find a thumbnail of the original artwork, the title, the size, and then copyright Reutren uh, and Diamond Art Club. So this is really important because this means that this piece is legally licensed. The artist has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being compensated for it. And this is the case with all of Diamond Art Club's kits. So uh, there's lots of art theft going on out there, lots of kind of funniness with some of, the, uh, of, of what shops are doing with artwork, but I love that Diamond Art Club is doing everything above board and right by artists. Down here, you've got uh, another discount code. Sorry to bump you there. And then these are Diamond Art Club socials, the best way to stay up to date with sales and new releases. And then here's info about their lifetime warranty. So as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of the kit, you've got coverage under that lifetime warranty. That includes things like if you run out of diamonds or have any trouble with the glue or the canvas, just contact their customer support and they'll get you taken care of. So you can see you guys, there's lots of browns and neutrals going on in this kit. Um, there's, there's a mix of both color blocking and confetti going on. So let me explain what both of those are. Uh, a good example of color blocking will actually be at the top of the canvas. We'll get there and I'll show it to you. But confetti is, where's a good spot to show you? <laughs> maybe in here, maybe a little bit. Some of these details in these flowers. Okay, so confetti is when you've got lots of color changes in a small area. Usually those are gonna take you a little bit longer because you'll be changing out the color in your tray a bit more often and uh, single placing probably, or using really small multi-placers. But the nice payoff, here's kind of another area with confetti, uh, is you do get more detail. It can have a really pretty color blending effect and whatnot. Um, so you're gonna have a, some of that in this kit especially areas that we need more detail. Like here we've got her her arm and her bow and arrow. It's tricky to show you guys a big canvas like this, but here her face as well. Even up close like this, this is stunning in terms of rendering and how, it's, how the original artwork has been turned into diamond painting form, but her hair has some confetti too. Okay, up here though, this these are ex excellent examples of color blocking. So if you take a look here, Areas like this, this is color blocking. Lots of the same color in a small area. You can multi-place to your heart's content and have that color in your tray for longer. So I like when we've got a nice mix of both in, in our canvases because, uh, in a project that I'm working on anyway, because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking does keep it moving. 
All right, let's do a measurement. They're usually true to size, but you guys, you know, I like to just, let's just double check. Let's just double check posterity and all that. Okay, so we are just a tick shy of 97 centimeters and it's listed as 97. And to be fair, I didn't have the canvas totally flat, but, and then a tick shy of 65 centimeters and we're listed as 65. I tend to call that true to size as long as we're in within like a centimeter or two with any company, I give that wiggle room. So anyway, there's this beauty. She's gonna hang out in the background and we're gonna take a look at this big pack of diamonds. So <laughs> part of me is like, okay, once I take these out, no way I'm getting them back in there. That means I just, I have to kit it up and work on it, right? So we do have a sticker on the outside that tells us what kit these go with in case you store these separate from uh, the canvas outside the box they came in. All right, so here's this gorgeous color spread, you guys. Love it. Now I'll tell you what, neutrals are not always my 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 happy place, my jam. But in artwork like this, yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna take much convincing. So these are square shaped diamonds, like I mentioned. Diamond Art Club puts the DMC code on the bag and they did recently start adding in this line underneath so that it's, uh, you know how it's oriented. That just comes into play. We do have some DMC codes that have only sixes and nines in them. And, and again, some people were getting confused with which way was right side up. So, you know, little convenience factor there. Uh, Diamond Art Club does manufacture all of their diamonds in house, squares and round diamonds. Um, and their square diamonds tend to be pretty good to work with. Um, I occasionally will run into trash with the darker colors like uh, the 310 occasional like I might see a tiny bit in there but I'll tell you what I've been running into kind of um, trash drills with with a variety of different kits from different companies lately so my thing is how bad is it <laughs> and do I have plenty plenty to complete my kit and that's you know usually Diamond Art Club absolutely enough to complete my kit um, <clears throat> But yeah, uh, darker drills, especially 310, something about how they're produced or mass produced, they're just, it's trickier. I don't know. But typically, typically, Diamond Art Club's diamonds are pretty consistent in size and shape and pretty minimal in terms of trash drills, which by the way, I guess I should say trash drills are drills that are not usable for whatever reason, not consistent in size and shape or little tabs sticking off the side and stuff. Uh, but I don't run into that so much. What's I'm in our club. Ooh, you guys, here we go. I was wondering, where are our special drill colors? We have two bags here of 109. This is our first special drill color. This is an AB diamond. And if you take a look, these have this super sparkly iridescent coating on the top. That's different from like these regular diamonds here. Okay, so these get these, their name from the Northern Lights, which have this gorgeous color shift effect. And these make a really bold statement when they're on a canvas. Um, some of them like this one, are a bit more bold and I love it. So I will show you where these have been charted on the canvas. They're gonna highlight the areas that they've been placed, draw your eye to them and reflect kind of that variety of colors, not just the base color. Then we've got just tons of browns and grays and grayages. <laughs> Some blues in here too. There's a nice lavender. Here's our second special diamond. This is another AB diamond, 129. It's a pretty pale yellow color. Some more regular colors. I'm seeing a little bit of static in these diamonds. You can kind of see when you notice the diamonds wanting to cling to the side of the bag like that. If you run into that, there are lots of suggestions and tips and tricks out there. What I have found to be the easiest and most foolproof just for me and my climate and stuff is I just cut up a square, a couple, square, two, three of dryer sheet, tuck it in the bag and just kind of shake it around and move it around. And that usually takes care of it. Holy cow, one, two, three bags of 141. Dang, three bags of this AB color, this white AB. You'll see this in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits. It's pretty popular. And here you guys go. Here's our last special drill color, which is actually, let's zoom you in there. You can see this is a fairy dust diamond. You can see there's almost a glitter coating, not almost, it is a glitter coating that's been brushed on the tops of these diamonds, like over here. This, these have a more subtle effect than AB diamonds do, but they are, I think my favorite special diamond that Diamond Art Club does. They're gorgeous and they give it kind of a more shimmery effect instead of uh, sparkly. I love fairy dust diamonds. This is a really pretty, it's like a really, really, really pale beige. 
Z677. Okay, that should be all of our special draw colors. Three ABs and one fairy dust. And then this strand just has the tiniest amounts, <laughs> just small, small bags of these different brown colors. You know, uh, 55 colors on a canvas this size, that's not, that's not too many colors actually. So let's hop down to the bottom. That's where I was leaning up against that on my table because it's big. Uh, let's go down to the bottom and I wanna show you where we're gonna find those special drill colors. Uh, so right off the bat, we had that pretty kind of taupe, taupish gray AB, and that's highlighting on bits of the edges of these flowers down here. Um, yeah, one of those gray colors is, is that. And then we've got, let me see, I wanna make sure I don't miss our fairy dust color, which I don't see any of that down here, any of our other ABs down here. On the edges of this flower, we have that taupish gray AB. Right here, this spot is the pale yellow AB color. And then we've got more of the taupish gray AB in parts of the edges of these flowers again. It's gonna have a really pretty highlighting effect. And then starting down here, you guys, there's quite a bit of this, this white that you're seeing um, is the white AB. And I think any of the pure white you see in this kit is gonna be the AB, AB color. I don't think we have any white in this kit that is not AB. Like we don't have 3865, which is the kind of like the equivalent and just a plain white AB or plain white drill color. Um, anyway, let's see. Where's our fairy dust? Letter S, make sure I don't miss that. Okay, so we do have some of the fairy dust uh, doing a little bit of highlighting in here. It's one of these kind of beige taupe colors. And then we've got a bunch of the taupe AB. It's the number one, it's this gray that I'm showing you up here and here and over here is the taupe AB. We've got a little bit of the pale yellow AB right here, a bit of the pale yellow AB right here. And then some of, ooh, that's gonna be really pretty. Okay, so down the fold of her robe along here's the fairy dust color, which again was that really pale beige. Fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust and yellow ABs right here. More fairy dust, more taupe ABs at the edges of these flowers. And then all the white you see over here, all of this white here, the string of her bow, the curve of her bow, the white you see here and here, and then her arrow, the white you see through right here, is white AB. And then we have some of that pale beige fairy dust. It's it's really laced all throughout here. It's just gonna give, I think, an overall more shimmer effect to this painting. Um, it's, not, it's not really bold and in your face. Uh, over here, we have some of the pale yellow AB. And over here, we have some of the taupe AB, white over here, white here, and all the white you're gonna see in the background as we move up, all of these big white patches are white ABs. And then as we get into her robes, as we're moving up and her tunic, I see some of the pale beige uh, fairy dust here. And I see some of the pale beige fairy dust along here and over here. And then, ooh, all through here, that's like flowing off. I don't know if she, she yeah, it's kind of wearing a cloak, I think. I don't think this part is her hair. Uh, we have some of the pale beige AB here, or sorry, pale beige fairy dust in here, as well as some of the yellow AB. And then in her hair, we have some of the pale yellow AB doing a little bit of light highlighting, as well as over here, some of the pale yellow AB. And then again, in the background, all of the white that you're seeing is white AB. I'm trying to see, do we have any of the taupe AB in the background? Yeah, we do, okay. So then up here we also have the taupe AB is this color in here, and then over here. I may have missed some, but I love what I'm seeing and what I did catch. I will say that this does remind me very strongly of the Roy Trin kit that I completed from Diamond Art Club. I believe that was um, Mercury and a uh, very, very similar art style. And I feel like the way that they charted these special drill colors was also very similar. And with the fairy dust colors and the AB colors, and I loved it. That kit turned out 
absolutely gorgeous. And if that is any representation of this one, which I think it is <laughs> a decent glimpse of how this one may turn out, uh, this is going to be a stunner. I am so excited. <laughs> I, I'm thrilled. I just am absolutely thrilled. Like I said, I, I love Greek mythology and Artemis is a favorite character of mine in particular, a favorite like Greek goddess in particular. So I cannot believe that we finally have this kit from Diamond Art Club and Roy Trin. Uh, one of the kits I'm working on right now, actually one of my whips at the moment as I'm filming this is from Diamond Art Club and is also a Greek uh, mythology figure. It's Aphrodite, different artists, but you know, this is very much my jam and I'm all about working on kits that I adore the artwork um, and love the story behind it and everything as well. So anyway, let me give you a quick recap. The name of this piece again is Artemis. It is by the artist Roy Trin, AKA Roy the Heart on Instagram. I'll link to their Instagram below. Please take a look gorgeous artwork. Uh, this kit is, is pretty big. It was that, let me see, uh, 65 by 97 centimeters, 55 colors, square diamonds, three AB colors, and one fairy dust drill. And this one is coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, August 12th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget that if you are in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get an early access window. So I hope this was helpful, you guys. I hope that this helped you make a decision if this should be on your shopping list for the weekend. I have a feeling this one could be popular and go fast. Who knows? We'll see. But I have to say that if you think you might want this one, definitely set those alarms. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I hope this was helpful. And uh, thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. Of course, I really appreciate it. And let me guys know what you think. Is this one on your list? Have you worked on a kit from Roy Trin before? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, if you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, a big variety of you know reviews, tutorials, unboxings, I would love to have you here. So feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. Otherwise, I'm going to let you go. Have the best weekend ever and a day as amazing as you are. <laughs> Bye.